So, uh, okay. Hi, everybody. My name is uh, Adrian Tuzignan. I'm with the Probabilistic uh, Vision Group uh, at McGill University, and I'm here to talk to you about my paper, Prediction of Disease Progression in Multiple Sclerosis Patients Using a Deep Learning Analysis of MRI Data. So uh, multiple sclerosis is a neurological uh, disease of the central nervous system that affects um, uh, the uh, myelin sheet of the axons. And uh, this can be seen in MRI uh, scans by the appearance of lesions and brain atrophy. Here on the image, you can see how uh, a brain can uh, deteriorate, of a MS patient deteriorates uh, over time. Uh, and that's why with such disease, uh, early prediction of future clinical uh, worse, uh, sorry. so early prediction of uh, future disease worsening or progression can have a significant impact in the patient's quality of life, uh, for instance, by allowing a physician to decide whether um, it's worth undergoing treatment with a uh, severe side effects. However, it's a hard problem because the relationship between known imaging markers and outcome is not clear. And this can be seen by looking at these images. If you compare, for instance, the image of the center where the lesions are uh, highlighted in red, you can see, in this case, uh, the patient end up progressing. Whereas, for instance, uh, on the left, where they have uh, sim uh, similar lesions uh, location, but uh, heavier lesion load, the patient does not progress. And on the right, where you have neither uh, big lesions nor atrophy, the patient has a more aggressive form of the disease. So in our paper, we present the first end-to-end uh, -end deep learning model that uh, is able to uh, predict disease progression within the year following the MRI uh, scan based on uh, five uh, MRI modalities and semi-manual uh, lesion labels obtained by experts. We also uh, derive an uncertainty metric based on a Monte Carlo dropout sampling that uh, allows us to tell how, the model, how certain the model is in its prediction, which is a valuable tool for physicians because it allows them to decide whether or not to rely on the model's prediction. Uh, so in our paper, we show that our model significantly outperform a standard VGG-like uh, 3D CNN on the ROC curve using fourfold cross validation. And we also show how uh, filtering out the uncertain example uh, from the ROC calculation improved the results, uh, validating uh, our use of the uncertainty metric by showing a correlation between uncertain example and incorrect predictions. Thank you.